Hi there and welcome to HWM Aston Martin here in Walton-on-Thames in the heart of Surrey. Thanks for joining me today because I wanted to talk to you around this beautiful DB11 V8 Coupe which we actually supplied from new. So it's a two owner car and it's finished in gorgeous, really stunning, I don't know if you can see it under this light, in midnight blue. So what I thought I'd do is show you around the outside of the car, talk to you about some of the options um, and detail on the vehicle. Then we'll hop inside uh, and I'll show you a little bit more about the detail inside and the factory fitted options. So we originally supplied this car from new. It's, uh, as I mentioned, it's a two owner car. Um, finished in midnight blue and there's some really, really nice detail. So immediately I pick up on the, uh, on the side straights being in gloss black. So that would have been an option at the time. And these 10 spoke directional alloy wheels, which are finished in shadow chrome are particularly nice as well. The dark gloss um, upper pack with matching roof as well. So DB11 for, for, a, for a period of time did have the, the option of having uh, different colored cant rails, but this, this option between kind of midnight blue and um, uh, the, 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 the gloss black uh, upper pack is quite a nice finish. So let's have a look at the, uh, the front of the vehicle. It's got the black headlamp, bezels, and the dark, finish front grille here to match the lower gloss plaque as well. Beautiful enamel badging, which is still made today by the same business who's always made Aston Martin badges. Uh, they're based up in the jewelry quarter in Birmingham and uh, they're still handcrafted today. So it's always nice to see those. Um, front parking sensors uh, and the uh, the bonnet vents, or the meshes, bonnet uh, meshes are finished in dark as well. So you kind of got this dark theme all across the car. Looking at the windscreen, like I say, it's a, 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 a used vehicle which would be prepared under the used uh, Aston Martin Timeless program, but the screen looks to be free of any chips or cracks. Uh, and uh, looking at the bonnet, there are very, very few, if hardly any, there's a few minor sort of stone chips, but nothing really um, dramatic given the age and mileage of the car. But overall, I think it looks really, really well. See up here, the windscreen, you've also got the, uh, the, the, the radar and the sensor that um, activates your auto wipers and your auto lights as well. So there's all this equipment that's going on in the background working hard for you. Let's have a look around the back of the car. So, mentioned the, uh, the, the gloss black uh, upper and lower packs, the wheels. Uh, coming around to the back of the car, it also has details such as the smoked rear lights. So again, it's a, just a really nice feature. And it was a factory option at that time, whereby um, it just finishes off that, that kind of dark appearance. You've got the dark into the blue, into the dark, and then into the, in, into the um, dark again, which is very, very nice indeed. Let's have a look in the boot space. So there are a couple of ways that you can open the boot. You can do it from inside the cabin, or you can do it on this beautifully crafted key as well. Now it's about 30% bigger than the vehicle it replaced, the DB9, but it's a super usable boot. Um, it's nice and wide, which uh, current Aston Martin owners will know that that was kind of a mainstay really of boot design, um, but it actually goes back a long way as well. So yeah, for our GT car, for our car that is equally at home going around town or uh, eating the miles on a, on a road trip or a pan-European road trip, there is enough room for luggage and equipment. Admittedly, not an estate, but a, superable, uh, a super usable boot space. Very good. Let's uh, have a hop in and uh, I'll show you some of the features inside the car because the interior actually in this car is again quite special. Come and join me and I'll show you around it. 
Right, so I'm gonna have a hop in and uh, show you some of the features inside this car. Now, the, the first thing that grabs me is this Brogue detailing. Now, on DB11, there are lots of different options, but this has the, um, the, the matching stitch. So it's finished in dark night leather, which is not quite black, um, but just a, got a little bit of fleck of blue in it, but it's also got this um, dark night stitching as well to match the seating, as well as the Brogue detailing. It's, Really, really nice. And also uh, an option, it had the um, DB11 embroidery, um, which again is hand stitched by our creators of Aston Martin up at their factory. So lots and lots of work and detail goes into creating the seat and all the stitching. Right, let's have a jump in. So aside from the dark night leather, it also has the bro detailing around the side. This wonderful piano black finish as well. It's actually a really nice place to be. Loads of vision out the back and the wing mirrors are adjustable from uh, the touch of a button here. Also, this car has blind spot assistance on both passenger side or near side and off side. So if you're driving along on the center of the motorway, for example, and somebody comes up alongside you, either, either side, there's a little um, triangle which is embedded within the mirror that will light up. So it saves you, it's not fail safe, but it adds, adds to um, the, the additional kind of safety, if you will, of um, not having to look over your shoulder all the time. Uh, please don't take driving tips from me. Um, always look over your shoulder, always make, it, make sure it's, uh, it's clear to maneuver, uh, but uh, it, it, it is handy to have. Right, other things. We've got wonderful glass, uh, the signature glass switches uh, with Aston Martin, so there's no gear stick. All the buttons are here at the touch. Uh, of um, a, a button on the center stack. Uh, it's got heated seats, so both drivers and passengers. And you can see here on this side, so it's got electric, 16-way electric seats with um, memory for both drivers and passengers. And you can save those on the key as well. So if you've got mul multiple drivers of, of a car, uh, it, can, uh, it can save mirrors and steering wheel and seats all on the key. So coming back to steering wheel, uh, also has uh, electrically adjusted steering column, which again was an option at the time. Uh, and that's easily adjustable by this little joystick here on the left in between the indicator and the cruise control. Nice metal uh, paddles, so it just feel very, very nice, not sort of plastic, and they are attached to the steering column as opposed to the steering wheel as, uh, as well. So that they're, they're always in the same place, they never move. One of the signature things with Aston Martin, and it's always been a part of Aston Martin design, is having this engine start-stop button in the middle of the center stack. It actually sort of creates a bit of theater, so by pushing it, that is the equivalent of turning the ignition to the, to the first position. But also, it enables me to have a look and configure the TFT screens and the dash in front of me. So it's quite clever. So I can look at things like fuel and temperature and all those usual things, but I can see um, what adaptive damping setting that this vehicle uh, is set to, which you can configure via the steering wheel. But also you can use the S button to transform it between GT mode, which is the default mode, sport, and Sport Plus, and each one of those characteristics changes the car dramatically. Essentially, it adjusts the gearbox, the throttle, and the exhaust note, but nonetheless, it makes a big, big difference rather than having a, a sort of token or a gimmicky sort of sports button that, 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 that doesn't do very much. So you can really get comfortable with this car and set it up individually. So look, there it is, a whistle-stop tour of this beautiful, DB11 V8 Coupe, like I say, originally supplied by us here at HWM Aston Martin in Walton on Thames. We'll come prepared, um, fully prepared by our factory team technicians, uh, and under the timeless scheme, we'll have a 12 month Aston Martin warranty, which the next user can extend 
if they desire also. So look, I'm gonna get out of the way and leave the last few seconds of this video to, uh, uh, to allow you to have a look around the car. But please don't forget to rate and subscribe and thanks for tuning in.